everyone, it's Grace. Um, I'm going to be talking to you today about um, making recruiting easy, making it easy for people to join your team. Um, I had the pleasure of speaking at Free All's Spring Launch um, this past weekend, and I've been getting a lot of responses, a lot of questions um, from people who were either there and then just had some follow-up questions, or um, from uh, those of you who couldn't be there, um, just kind of wondering um, about this. So I figured I would just make a video and that can be shared amongst everyone, and then you can do with it what you want, okay? Um, some of you may have seen uh, a video that I had done uh, last year on my quick start backs. This is um, nothing more than just reiterating um, this premise. So again and again, I have to give full credit to Marna Ross, who was the inspiration for this, um, that she was the one that stated about signing people up at our shows. Um, what you have to realize, my friends, is there are two different ways to recruit people. You can either choose to recruit them outside of your show, and that would be where um, you inspire the interest at the show. You um, get them interested. You ask them if they would like to take home some information. You set a recruiting appointment uh, for an interview at a later time, and then um, you follow up with them uh, and do that interview, and then um, hopefully they will join your team, um, and then you would sign them um, and it would be your discretion whether you make sure they have the bookings in place or not before they would um, join. Um, then there's the second way where you um, basically sell the kit. You do inspire interest, but you're basically letting them know the great deal on the kit, and then it's kind of a no-brainer to uh, just order a kit that night and you sign them directly at the show. Okay. Um, what I found is it seems like there's a very heavy... Um, push for the first option of um, actually getting with them at a later time, um, getting to know them more, going through the interview process, um, and I feel like we're losing people through this. Um, I, I do know for some personalities out there, um, this is going to be your method to recruit. It would drive you crazy um, if somebody signed up without having shows lined up. Um, you like to use the term kidnappers if somebody doesn't um, submit parties. Um, you know, so really, um, for those of you with that kind of personality, um, that first option is, you know, going to fit you best for recruiting, and there's nothing wrong with it, okay? Um, I just came to embrace that my style was recruiting at the show. Um, I really, um, it really bothered me more when I was taking time and trying to do the follow-up. I would have appointments scheduled with people they weren't answering, um, you know, so then it's trying to get them on the phone or get them to meet up with me for coffee. Um, and I just felt it was a waste of my time. I kind of looked at it as, you know, I book people at my shows. Like if somebody walks out the door and they don't have a party in my calendar, I'm not chasing after them. Um, they order at my shows. Um, so I'm like, you know, when Marna Ross stressed the importance of, of how she recruits at the shows, it really just made sense. Why wouldn't they order a kit at the shows? Um, one thing I will tell you, um, when you choose to recruit this way, you need to banish the words kidnapper from your vocabulary. Um, I really never liked those words. I thought it was very derogatory um, because we never know what's happening um, in somebody's life on their end of things. And to sit around and label somebody um, as something negative like that, it's actually just very mean. So. You're going to have to banish that if you're going to be recruiting at your shows. You also have to be willing to embrace that you are going to have um, people who won't do anything, okay? Or you're going to have late bloomers. So they could be in their fourth or fifth month before they even sell 10 bucks, okay? You have to be open to this. You also have to be open to the fact that you're going to have people who are going to say that they're only going to do one or two shows in a month and um, they're going to end up being your superstars because they get a little taste of it and then they explode, okay, with their business. So that's very exciting. Um... So um, I, I will show you in a second um, exactly how I recruit at my shows. Um, but the, the things that you're going to need to collect um, that I personally use at my shows, number one, catalogs. I mean, who wouldn't go to shows without catalogs? But what I do to make it easy for people to sign up my shows is I tuck right in the back a copy, um, the PDF. This is right on Consultant's Corner. Okay, so you can do a search. Um, this is a, a copy of the kits. I'm not fancy. I don't have color copies. I haven't had color ink in probably 10 years. <laughs> um, and then I just, on the flip side, I just, that that's also um, with that PDF is a listing of everything that comes in their kit. Um, that way they can actually see everything. And then I staple to it a copy of the Consultant's consultant agreement um, so they know exactly what they're what kind of information they need to fill out I call this my kit order form but again if you're going to print it off from consultants corner because that's where it's at I have not created any of these documents home office has supplied them um, you're just going to do a search right on consultants corner um, but I just print off a whole bunch of these staple them together and then um, 
they go right in the back of the catalog so that it's right there with the kit. It's just um, a little bit extra of a bonus. Um, and my view is I put these in here instead of the order forms because this is the most important and best deal that I have for them that night. So it needs to be right in their hands from the get-go. Okay. The other thing that I prepare is uh, two what I call quick start bags. Um, so here's one that um, I had actually had at my parties last week. Um, and it doesn't really matter what's in your quick start bag. So you can just see it's just a normal gift bag. It's a little kind of a heavier gift bag so it would last. Um, and I just pulled something out of my closet. So it's just um, a small serving bowl that's in here. And I threw in um, one of the more ah, Latin flavor cookbooks. It's just stuff I have in my closet. Um, now something um, that I am actually going to um, be trying um, is I'm going to be ordering up um, a closing cut salad choppers, um, maybe a microwave popcorn maker, and possibly um, a whipped cream maker. Or I'm going to do two closing cuts and two salad choppers um, and actually do those uh, for my quick start bags. Um, I'm also leaning towards not using the gift bags anymore. Um, last night I took my two products um, that I was had in my quick start bags in um, gift basket bags. So it's like that um, uh, cellophane type material and what I loved was is I could literally toss those right in my kits and I didn't have to worry that they were gonna get crushed or whatever because they're just that cellophane and they still look brilliant um, by the time I got there um, so really use what you want but just know if you opt for the paper bags like I've been using you are gonna want to use a, a heavier paper bag not not something thin because even just getting it to the show, it's going to get damaged. Um, be leery of um, too much um, tissue paper because, again, that gets crumpled. And you want them to look new and fresh so that people are getting the... Um, uh, the mindset that these things are going a lot okay so those are the things that I prepare for my recruiting at my shows okay so um, the quick start bags are an enticement for people to order their kit that night they will get to go home with that bag at the party okay when they order their kit so what I do is I open my show I thank the host I thank the guests uh, for being there I sell them on the hosting opportunity I then go into the guest special I sell them on uh, spending that 75 I don't actually sell them on that I sell them on spending a hundred or more um, because I have a hundred dollar bag um, and then I go into selling them on the kit um, and uh, I do want to say a big thank you to Brian Parker. I really liked um, in his show demo that he actually highlights four of uh, the main products that come in the various kits, uh, the 5-inch Santoku, the grill pan, the Everyday Rock Rock, and the manual food processor. Um, he has those set in a, in a specific area, and he takes a little bit of time at the beginning of the show to highlight those products and then ties them back to the kit. Um, I did that at my show last night and had a really great response with that, so thank you, Brian Parker, for sharing that. Um, so basically, by highlighting those products and then letting them know the very best deal that I have for you is actually found on that paper in the back of your catalog. These are our new consultant starter kits, and they are amazing. Um, they're such a great bang for your buck. And what you're going to notice is the products that I just highlighted with you come in the various kits. Now, if you're kind of wondering uh, what kit you would want to purchase tonight, well, let's talk about this. Um, if you're more that entertainer, um, you like to get your friends together for the drinks and the appetizers and um, just, you know, the bunko groups and, and all that kind of jazz, then um, our starter kit is going to be right up your alley. It comes with one of those great quick stir pitchers, the manual food processor, a stoneware, and more. Um, it's over $450 worth of goodies for only $109. I mean, you really can't beat that, right? Um, now, if you're like me and you're the busy uh, mom or dad that has to get dinner on the table like that, um, then you're really going to be looking at the deluxe kit because that rock crock that we talked about is going to come in there um, as well as that manual food processor um, it's just absolutely phenomenal and that that Santoku knife I mean you can really see just those three things alone are going to be heavy hitters in your kitchen for getting um, dinner on the table in no time and it's such a steal it's over six hundred and fifty dollars worth of stuff for only 159 I mean that that's less than a trip to Walmart for some of you for groceries right but if you're both if you like to get together with the friends and you have to get dinner on the table and and you're just finding yourself in the kitchen a lot and you want to make life a whole lot easier and you really want to start cooking even healthier. Um, I do Weight Watchers so that, that's one thing I love with all my tools as many of them are helping me pull off anywhere from three to six point uh, dinners for myself and I'm doing it very easily and I'm doing it on a budget. Well for those of you that I just described like that you're going to want to go with the ultimate kit because what they did is they combined both of these kits and they threw in that single burner grill pan that I passed around the room that you're all drooling over. It's over a thousand dollars worth of stuff. Oh my goodness for only two forty nine. I mean you and I both know if you go to Costco or Sam's you're, you're spending way more than that. What, what a value. 
So we have to understand is for those of you that you are just like, holy smokes, I have to get my hands on one of these kits. They are the best deal that I have for you tonight. So um, for the first two of you that come up and order your kits, um, I've got these quick start bags here. You're going to grab one. Um, they both have different products in them. You're going to grab one. You're going to bring it up to me. Um, we have to make sure that we fill out um, this order form that's tucked in here um, so that we make sure that you uh, get free shipping on your kit. But don't miss out on this. I mean, it's the best deal that I have for you, and there's literally no strings attached. And we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about this later, but make sure you're checking this out because I have a feeling that about 90 to 95% of your wish list items will be found in one of these kits. So that was me going into show mode about it. Um, and you notice that I said about the free shipping. Uh, people never pay shipping on their kits, okay? But it's just something I throw out there just to uh, get their ears just perked up a little bit more um, to just um, create that sense of urgency. Um, and yes, I only take two quick start bags with me to any show. Um, I don't take one because, um, remember, people will kind of do half of what we expect them to do. So I'm going to take two so that I'm seeing um, hopefully at least one recruit from the party. Um, so I go through my, I do station style show. Um, you know, it's very chaotic. I love it that way. So I get to mix and mingle with my guests and um, I'm listening to what they're liking. And then when I end my show, um, you know, I'm ending it by asking what do they see that they like. Typically, it's the things that I highlighted in the beginning. So it's kind of a no brainer for them to um, be looking at the kits. And I'll be like, oh my word, then you're going to want to get one of these kits. Um, and then I do end with sharing a little bit of my story where I'll say to them, um, you know, my friends, I know I keep talking about the, these kits because honestly, the, the whole reason that I'm here tonight. Um, uh, many years ago, I went to a party and I had $5 in my checking account and um, I was there to eat. I was trying to sneak out without really ordering and the consultant, um, asked me if I wanted to do Pampered Chef, and I, I turned her down. Uh, no, not really. Um, and she really, you know, asked me, you know, hey, you know, do you like a good deal? What do you think? And um, she brought up the kits. She showed them to me. And um, when when I told her I didn't have enough money for the kit, she told me that I could put my kit on my credit card, um, and if I could just, you know, wrangle up one or two parties, I could make back the money on my uh, kit before the credit card statement even came in, and then I could just go from there. If I didn't want to do anything else, I wouldn't have to, but then, in essence, I would be getting the kit for free. And, you know, my friends, that's what they call a win-win. You know, seriously. So it made sense to me. So that's what I did. I threw my kit on my credit card. Um, I am not from where I currently live, so I really only expected to have parties for my mother-in-law and sister-in-law. And the interesting thing was, and I was never going to do anything else. That's it. I was going to get my kit, basically end up getting it for free, and I was going to be gone. And I'm telling any of you in this room, that's what you can do, my friends. Pampered Chef is amazing like that. They don't put all these rules and regulations um, out there for you. So I just think that's amazing of them. Um, but what was interesting was, is from those parties, other people wanted to have more parties. So I figured, why not? Why not make some extra money, right? I mean, who's going to say no to extra money? Um, so I started going, and one, um, I noticed that when I would do one party a week, I was making over $500, which is really good, especially when you don't have any money. Um, and then when I started doing two parties a week, which who can do two parties a week, right? I mean, hello, especially now we have these virtual parties. Love it. Um, I was making over $1,200. I mean, that's crazy. Um, and then a few years in, um, I noticed, I like actually started paying attention and I noticed they had this thing called a career path. So for those of you in the room where you're kind of feeling like you're stuck, you're at a dead end job, you're not proceeding how you want, you're not getting the raises that you, that you really ought to be getting, you're not being challenged, you would love our career path. It's amazing. Um, so I jumped on there and now currently I leave my house, um, two times a week and I make anywhere as little as 4,800 upwards of, I'm uh, creeping in on 7,000. Um, so, I mean, isn't that crazy? Like hello, right? All from just ordering a kit that was a really good deal. So let's talk about this. Um, for those of you who just literally want a good deal, great, talk to me. Um, I will tell you, like, let's face it, when your kit comes in and your girlfriend's here that you ordered a kit, Pampered Chef will give you catalogs and order forms in your kit, okay? Um, so it kind of makes sense. Have your girlfriends over for some drinks and appetizers. They're going to want to come over anyway. You know they're going to order. Boom. You're going to have orders, boom, you just made back the money on your kit. If you never want to do another darn thing, I don't care. Do whatever the heck you want. You made out really well. But I know there's some of you in this room that could use the extra 200 the 500 the 1000 or more. And for those of you who are in that boat, I'll mentor you, and we'll have a great time doing it. But at the very least, make sure that you're not leaving tonight without ordering one of these kits because they're just amazing. So if you have any questions, and then I roll into my uh, question and answer game. So... 
I am, I am looking to sell kits because I look at it this way. Um, again, I have to make it easy. I love the deal of the kit. I wouldn't be here today if somebody hadn't shown me what a great deal the kit was. And I really want to give you a quick little analogy um, because I know some of you are like, but Grace, I mean, this is, this is ridiculous. You're just selling kits. And I'm going to address what I do with people after they sign up. You're just selling kits. You know, this is awful. You know, you're probably going to cause Pampered Chef to go into ruin and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay. Let's just put this in another light. Let's take the double burner grill pan. Okay. The double burner grill pan costs more than both the starter kit and the deluxe kit. Correct? So with the double burner grill pan, if we treated a sale of that, as a lot of you out there are currently treating recruiting, this is what it would look like. Say Pam comes up to order a double burner grill pan, and I see it on her order form, or she's expressed some interest in ordering a double burner grill pan, and I say to her, oh my gosh, Pam, so I see you, you're a little interested in this double burner grill pan, and she says, well, yeah, yeah, me, you know, I think it looks really awesome. I'll say, okay, so listen, I'm going to send you home with this flyer about our double burner grill pan, and I'm going to send you home with a little bit of information on our double burner grill pan, and... Um, I want to get to know you a little bit better and help you explore if this double burner grill pan will be a good fit for you in your home. So how about um, we talk tomorrow um, with 2 o'clock work. It went, okay, great. Tomorrow I call her. She gets on the phone and I say, okay, Pam, so tell me, what experiences have you had with the double burner grill pan? What's your past with a double burner grill pan? Can you tell me about that? How would your family feel if you uh, purchased a double burner grill pan, Pam? Um, now, Pam, from what you're telling me, um, I really think a double burner grill pan would be a good fit in your home. So what do you think? You think you might want to order it? Great. So here's what I want you to do, Pam. I want you to go and find six recipes that you can make in your double burner grill pan in the next 30 days. And once you have those lined up and you have the ingredients purchased, I want you to give me a call and then we'll go ahead and order your double burner grill pan. Is Pam going to order a double burner grill pan? <laughs> no. Or she might if she honestly is more that thinker personality and has Bear, you know, bared with me through this whole process. But what I just did is I made it really hard for her to purchase a double burner grill pan. I went through some unnecessary steps, if you will, because I know I can sell her a double burner grill pan that night at the show, right? And I know that I'm going to call her back and I'm going to do some good customer care. I'm going to follow up with her and make sure she's really enjoying her pan. It's not still in the box, right? I'm going to add her to my VIP group so she's getting more information in there. It's no difference than when I sign people at my shows. The second we finish filling out their kit order, or they do it on their phone, whatever, then I say to them, okay, so we'll use Pam again. So Pam, I'm really excited you're going to get this amazing kit. So let me ask you, um, do you have like 10 minutes tomorrow that I could just give you a quick shout? Because I really want to let you know all the resources that you have available to you, um, just in case you, know, you do end up having some friends that want to place orders um, and things like that. Would that be okay? They've never said no. Some of them do request, like, could we more, like, just chat through Facebook because I have a really busy day. I'm like, that's fine. I can send you that info there, okay? And then I ask them, I would say, so, Pam, tell me, um, like, are you just really honestly looking for a good deal with your kit, or are you hoping to make a little money? Would you be open to that? I have had people that say, I'm honestly just looking for a great deal. I really don't see doing anything with this. And I'll say, okay, great. So knowing that they're going to send you catalogs and order forms, right, what I'm going to warn you is, you are going to have people that are going to want to order. Are you open to at least, like, if they want to order placing orders? They never say no. They never say no. I'm like, okay, so just be prepared. So we're going to want to keep in touch, okay, so that, um, you know, I can guide you through that. And they're like, okay. Um, but most of the people say to me, yeah, well, I would be open to making some if I could get the bookings. Okay, great. So when we chat tomorrow, I'm, going to, I'm just going to explain a little bit more of what that would look like for you because you really could make some extra money. Okay. See, I have a system. So the next day, I get them added into my Pampered Chef um, Peeps page, my team page. I also have a new consultant um, only team page. Thank you, Charlotte and a guy for that idea um, that they go into. Okay. And then we have our little 10 minute chat. I let them know what's available to them. I get a feel for what they want. And I proceed with them from there. Okay. Um, so am I just selling kits? No. I'm looking and seeing who, you know, app after they order, who really wants to go somewhere and who is just looking for that good deal but is open to still making a little bit of money, okay? So I do have a system in place for these people. I'm just making it 10 times easier for them to sign up with me because I'm not dragging out a whole process. So now, for example, 
as I end this, because I just looked at the time, this video is going longer than I anticipated, sorry guys. Um, last night at my show, there was a great gal there, D. D came up and really wanted a quick start, a quick stir pitcher. That's all. That's all she was going to order. D has done another direct selling company, and she got burned big time uh, to the tune of over $5,000 in inventory. Yeah. So she was very skeptical. She said, man, those kits look amazing, but I'm just nervous about it. And she, she explained her story, and I said, I can understand that. I said, but you order your kit, and there's no strings attached. So what is it going to hurt you to order this starter kit that has your quick stir picture in it, and you're going to get everything else in here? And she goes, hmm, you know what? It is such a good deal. I said, it really is, D. I said, and you're going to get one of the quick start bags. She goes, yeah, that's true. So guess what? She said, okay, let's order it. So we ordered up her kit. And the interesting thing is then as we're doing it, she's getting more excited. She's her one other friend that's there. She's, oh, yeah, yeah. And then Dee says, you know, I'm going to go up and visit family on um, this weekend in Connecticut. And I said, oh, my goodness, Dee. Oh, my goodness. So take some catalogs. Don't you think they're going to want to order? And she goes, I can sell in Connecticut. I said, of course you can. I can all ship there. Oh, my goodness. She got so excited. Now, what if I'd only had her purchase that Quickster picture? What if I'd never brought this up? What if I'd made it difficult? She already had had a really bad experience with another direct selling company. And if I would have made it difficult and said, oh, I need to interview, blah, 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 her heels would have dug right in because she already went through a horrendous experience with another company. I would have lost her. So I'm not saying that this way is for everyone because I know it's not because we're all different personalities. I know that there are some of you that because of how you function, honestly, because of how you work and how your brain works and um, different, you know, security vices in your life, right? Inspiring the interest in holding the interviews and going that route is going to be your best way to recruit, okay? And trying to force yourself to only recruit at shows isn't going to work for you. So you'll be kicking yourself, you know, in the foot, whatever the phrase is, <laughs> okay? But I know for a majority of us, for a, honestly a majority of us, inspiring them at the show and showing them the deal of the kit and making it so ridiculously easy for them to give this a try that's really going to work and we're going to see massive influx of new consultants. We just got to make it easy for them friends. And, and I'll leave you with this. What really hit it home for me was when I realized as my new people were signing up that Pampered Chef no longer has, when they're signing up online, the requirement to put in the parties, you know, the four parties or the six parties with the dates. I think, and I can't, I can't speak for home office because I'm not there, but, you know, how, how can I tell people you have to have all this lined up if home office is not even going to require that anymore, right? And I kind of figured I'm going to stop playing God with other people's futures. I'm going to make it really easy. I'm not going to tell them they have to do anything, but I'm going to let them know that I definitely have options for them. And I'm definitely going to make it easy for them to join. Because I know when they join and I talk with them and they get their kit, they're going to fall so in love with this company, they're going to want to do something. And even for the ones that don't do anything, they now have an amazing amount of product in their kitchen and that product awareness that will filter out through the country is priceless because then they're bragging about those products and even if they don't sell a darn thing, they're helping the rest of us sell more efficiently. So I hope this all made sense. I hope it's inspired you. It is not hard to recruit at the show because, again, if you can sell a manual food processor, if you can sell, um, you know, a kid's baking set, if you can sell anything, you can sell a kit because the kits are such a phenomenal deal. So, hey, go make it a great day. Go get you some quick start bags made up. Go get your catalogs ready and go out there and recruit and do it easily. Make it a great one.